bottom line is that the government is getting what they have ordered. They're getting what they have paid for. They do not want your children to be educated. Uh, six cents. This vlog is going to be entitled My Music. Now, I've been getting a lot of people on my YouTube channel, my old YouTube channel, coming at me, asking me when I'm going to drop the new album, drop some new material. Yeah, I've been working on a new album called Still Sick since the end of 2017. I've been gathering up some features. I got some features from Daylight. I got a feature from Daylight. I got a feature from BL, one of my old partners in rhyme from back in the day. I probably remember him from Mesopotamian Aliens. Also some other really crafty artists on there. But I ain't spilling the beans yet because, you know, right now the way the music industry is looking, everything is a little bit oversaturated. So I took some time off to, you know, study cinematography, do some traveling, photography. In the last year, 2017, if you look at my YouTube channel, you've seen I was in a lot of places. I was in Portugal, I was in Spain, um, and was trying just to, you know, venture out into the cinematography world and getting my image right, what I want for my videos. So as far as new music coming, definitely new music is coming. But, you know, some things you just can't rush, and it's a, everything's a learning process, so that's... That's what I was doing for the last two, three, four years. Satyrian Films is just that. Um, I, I named it that just for the simple fact, going back to Greek mythology, there was an eight year span in between where the Python was defeated by Apollo. Um, so I took that as a kind of a good eight year, seven year hiatus from just constantly putting our music and giving people a little bit time to digest and catch up to the music and the content what I was putting out earlier earlier in the years. Uh, now everyone's supposed to be quote unquote woke, you know, but I was spitting this stuff about chemtrails and harp and, and deep military underground bases way before a lot of these guys were speaking about it. So for me, I'm not in a rush to oversaturate my style and to constantly put out music for free or whatever, whatever, because, you know, right now we don't need that. We need content. We need quality content. And that's why I took some time just to break off and say, you know what? I want my image to be right. And the, the, the message, what I'm conveying to come over really crisp and clear. So that's why I took some time to, you know, study cameras and study lenses and, and cinematography and how to shoot. So basically, I'm a one man team, you know, basically producing my own beats. Yeah, I still I still mess with my, my main producers, though. Yeah, instrumentals and Zombo Beats, uh, LB Productions. DJ Downpack, Kid Crate Digger, you know, those are my main go-to guys. But, you know, I'm, I'm right now was in a point where I was being in a creative, a creative uh, cloud where I was just creating beats constantly. In the last year, I made over 300 beats. Also, with my wife, Deep Herbal Bliss, she was making beats. She's making beats, too, now. So she's learning. I'm picking up the craft. So all together, to, to put that in a lump sum, that's what Bliss Sense Records was about. You know, I, I took a time off to actually break off from just making music and producing songs to actually just making content and keep on producing and producing and producing until I'm, I can find out and get exactly what I want out of my out of my production. So that's basically like a sum up of what's been going on. Now, as far as the start of 2018, yes, still sick is still coming. But like I said, I'm not rushing it. So, you know, when time permits, I will be dropping some videos some of the new songs and some singles that be coming out. Or first, I got to get to the location. I ain't going to drop you out the location. I'm going to let it be. A, I'm going to let it be a secret until I actually drop it. But um, the visuals and the video content is definitely going to be on some higher note, definitely high class stuff. As you can see from my uh, my previous work, you know, I've been traveling, doing a lot of shooting around, scouting out locations and getting the right feel. So as far as people wanting to get music from me, you know, you can get it. You can go still go to my reverb and, and iTunes and all that. But what I've really been venturing off into is music coin. Now on the topic of music coin, music coin is a decentralized music platform for indie artists, any artist who or listener who wants to stream music and earn money at the same time with 100% royalties. It's nothing like Spotify and it's nothing like these other streaming accounts, uh, streaming profiles or platforms where you might get a little a little bit out of the stream. A music coin is the perfect place for people who want to get their music heard and be played and be paid at the same time without having to worry about interference from some some big corporate heads uh, picking pennies from you. 
So I would I would suggest if anybody if anybody's out there listening and is an artist and was really want to get into the cryptocurrency world of uh, blockchain technology and decentralized information and music, that is the place to go. So please, if you want to uh, stream my music, if you want to listen to my music, I will be uploading my stuff to Music Corn. I still have I have songs up there now. Um, I think there's only like three or four other hip hop artists that I've seen that's on there. As, as far as a mixture of the genres, you can pick and choose what you want. But definitely, um, I'm pulling my music off a lot of SoundCloud and all these other sites because, you know, it's just oversaturated. And I don't want to just fall into the crowd of this, uh, for a lesser word of return, this mediocre music. You know, people are just putting out music and uh, give it out for free. And. It's all cool. If you give your music out for free to get a buzz, that's cool. But, you know, I put a lot of work and effort and time and and, and, and my soul into my music. So for me to give it out for free is kind of like defeating the purpose because this is what I do. So I respect people that put music out for free. Nothing, and I'm not knocking your hustle. Do what you do. But, you know, I know my worth and I'm not going to put my stuff out there for free just so people can consume it and throw it away and then it falls onto the wayside like a lot of other stuff which you see so that's the main reason why i joined music coin and a lot of reason why i haven't been producing so much music at the point because the music what i put out is not for everybody so i don't need uh i'm not pressed for the money either but the thing is i want my i want my worth and my art to be at least worth it and i know my worth so i'm not giving nothing out for free as far as beats you can get beats you can buy beats dirt cheap me you can contact me you can contact deep purple bliss you can um if you want to check out my soundcloud i got nothing but beats on there bliss Sense records also has beats she has beats so but like I said, it's nothing free. If you want to invest in your craft, you know, I invested in my camera, I invested in lenses, so I want uh, so to, to achieve a certain look. And you just can't go to a photographer and say, yo, um, shoot me a dope photo shoot, uh, can you hook me up, I'll, do, I'll just do it for the love. Nah, it don't work like that. Love don't, li love and lenses don't work. You gotta pay for something, you gotta pay for something. You don't go to a painter, a painter doesn't go to the, the art and craft store, stop and say, give me a free paintbrush or give me a free canvas. It just doesn't, life mechanics just don't work like that. It's a give and take, you know? So that's that's my little piece on, you know, people giving out music for free and why I charge for music and why I charge for beats. It's a, it's a simple principle actually, but a lot of people seem nowadays not to understand it. And this has been kind of like corroborating the, the the downgrading of music where anybody can put something out online and think it's hot and then buy some clicks and buy some hits and the, and, and that's enough that's that doesn't suffice for me I, I want my fans to be real and authentic at least and if they do pay for it get their money's worth yeah so with all that being said you know basically that's the rundown so definitely be looking out in 2018 for some new music some new singles videos dropping on my channel I'm gonna be making another YouTube channel specifically only for my music so people can actually just go if they want to see the vlogs or the travel vlogs y'all gonna y'all can come to the six cents the real uh youtube channel which is this one and review that stuff and see my progress on my vlogs and my filming but as far as music goes music content i will be creating another youtube channel where it's just specifically pertains to music with only links to the, either the youtube or the reverb or the music coin and those three venues you can go there and pick and decide where you want to listen to or stream or purchase music as far as my band camp band camp is still up i have two band camp accounts uh one band camp is six cents the other band camp is blistons records these are two conflicting um platforms for me to produce music my old six cents style is more on the old six cents band camp style i have the old soulful type of vibe where I'm going to with the Bliss Sense record profile. So, I mean, depending on what kind of music you want to listen to, you can go to each one and pick and choose. A lot of people want to hear the old Six Sense. They want to hear the the, the anti-New World Order information and um, kind of more advanced lyrical content. Uh, the Bliss Sense record style is more solely, more down to earth, more, more personal. So it depends on your preference on what you want to listen to but i mean it's your choice so i'm giving you the choice it's not just one-sided it's many facets to this so i'm not gonna give uh just give you one side of the one side of the 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 gym you know i'm gonna I'm a cut it where you can have different facets and you can enjoy different pieces of it where you want to so as far as that i hope that answered a lot of questions for people who was asking where have i been what i haven't been doing 
why I haven't been producing no music. I have been producing music, just beats at the permanently. I just haven't been recording and putting the stuff out because I think everything has a time and its place. And like I stated before, the oversaturation of music and material is just not something I do. So, I mean, you just got to accept that. And, you know, if you want good music, you got to wait and pay for it. And that's the bottom line. And uh, if you don't if you don't agree with that as an artist, then you know then that's that's your take on it. But as me as an artist, that's what I expect at least artists and my fans to appreciate. Even if I don't put out music and and, and constantly put out content, it's something to show that I see that I'm growing and I'm uh, and I'm constantly creating, but not on that level. So with that being said, I hope everybody enjoys their new year coming in 2018. It's going to be a lot of good stuff happening. Definitely with me and my channel. Definitely with the stuff I've been doing with my cameras and um, traveling and seeing the world, experiencing new things and meeting new people and creating and collabing with new artists. So definitely be on the lookout. This Sixth Sense. Y'all know what's up. Subscribe, like, tell your peeps what's up, and peace.